The French government has submitted the roadmap for jet engine development for the combat aircraft to the Indian Ministry of Defence. India and France have firmed up a defence industrial partnership roadmap that would provide for co-development and co-production of key military hardware and platforms and facilitate technology collaboration in a range of areas including space land warfare cyber space and artificial intelligence. The Indian government has not told its defence personnel to pull out from Maldives, even after a request from the China-sponsored Maldives government. Russia has started mass production of its S-70 Akhotnik advanced stealth drone, and the deliveries is set to commence in late 2024. The first edition of joint military exercise Sadr Tan Sikh between India and Saudi Arabia will be held from 29th January to 10th of February 2024 in Rajasthan. The DRDO has signed an agreement with the Naval Group France to extend cooperation and enter detailed design phase for integration of indigenous AIP system in the first Calvary class submarine. The DRDO is working on a 300 kW directed energy laser based weapon that will be capable of safeguarding static sites from incoming cruise missiles, rockets, artillery mortars, and even unmanned aerial systems. Hyderabad-based firm UAV Tech Private Limited has unveiled its M165 series fully autonomous hybrid electric UAVs for military and logistics operations that have a maximum range of 1,500 km and can carry a maximum payload of 45 kg. The price of American F-35A has dipped below $80 million, but even at this tempting price, India maintains its plans for the much costlier French Rafale, and its unwavering focus on developing its own fifth-generation AMCA, as India is aware of the strategic concerns about over-dependence on American systems. Experts have said that the $115 million Rafale has proven its combat prowess and it also has lower operating costs of $16,500 per hour, as compared to the $41,986 of the F-35, which makes the Rafale acquisition more economic viable in the lower term. The Indian Air Force firmly backs the indigenous AMCA program, and is not interested in panic purchase of other fifth-generation alternatives, as the AMCA promises future operational independence. The French government has submitted the roadmap for jet engine development to the Indian Defence Ministry, under which French firm Safran has offered 100% transfer of technology, which implies complete access to the engine's blueprints and manufacturing know-how, establishing a local manufacturing line and supply chain, and India will actively participate in the engine's core design. The 110 kN engine will have 20% scalability margin, and this future-proof design will allow for a potential upgrade to a 132 kN class variant for 6th generation fighters. US firm General Electric is gearing up for performance upgrades on the F404 engines that will power 180 Tejas Mark 1A aircraft and this move aims to enhance operational efficiency and potentially reduce life cycle costs for the Indian Air Force. The planned advancements involve software upgrades and specific engine tweaks, with a focus on optimizing existing functionalities and improved fuel efficiency from the F-404 that could translate into longer range and extended deployment durations for the Tejas aircraft. Today's Top 3 Comments